Space, the final frontier. This is the two and a half year journey of the build of the Starship Enterprise. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 114 of Building the Enterprise D, the NCC 1701D. Uh, in this issue, we're putting the uh, parts that we've been building up together onto our cell. So before we do that, uh, we've got to build up the internal parts of the uh, collector. Basically, it just goes together like that. That's nice and easy. Um, the bowl from here, uh, that's not the bowl, that's the bowl, fits into there. It gives us the illumination we needed down on that end and that goes together just like that in there uh, but before we put this other side on I need to do what I did way back in issue 51 and make the lights look better now we haven't got the power supply for it yet so I can't tell you what the lights look like but it's going to be exactly the same as the other one so I kept some tissue flavor from when I did the upgrade on the other one so I'm going to do the same on this one in the belief that it's going to be the same because it there's no reason why it wouldn't be basically so all i'm doing is taking some roughly cut shapes wrapping them around the bits that need the diffusion going on and putting them back so there's that and the long ones here which basically just need wrapping up and then reinstalling. The top and bottom of these don't matter. It's only the edges where the light goes in and where the light comes out again. So they need to go in place like that. Uh, obviously, I'll do the same on the other side in a minute. And then we'll get the other side bolted in place that way up. And uh, we'll be good to go with the bulbs um, being in the right places. and fused from the sides way back from issue 51 uh so yeah let me get that together that's all it's got to go down on the end there as well so let me get this uh other bit diffused get that connected up properly and then uh get it screwed together then we can move on to the more important big saucer bit okay that was less fun than i'd hoped um I couldn't get it lined up together properly, so I've actually had to adapt one of the interior brackets to remove a couple of the supports, and it's still not quite right, but it's much better than I could get it before, and it's all secure in there anyway, so I'm okay with that. Uh, all the diffused lighting is now lined up where it should be, and should be working nicely. Uh, we'll find out probably next month when we get the rest of it and uh, get the battery pack and everything in there, but obviously the top side of it all looks lovely, so uh, I shall move that out of the way because next we've got to deal with our other part. Uh, we've got to fit the battery pack to this and then fit this to the frame. So we've got two screws to hold the battery pack onto this and then six more to hold that onto there. So we're going to be putting it onto here, onto that corner there, and the battery pack is there, obviously going to be fitted internally to that. So I've got to get that the right way round being careful of the wires on there. So we've got the ability to change the batteries on the outside without getting it all apart. So that's going to go on there and be held in place with two screws. Try and do that. Right way round. There are already magnets fitted to the uh, exterior of this panel so there's obviously going to be a, a magnetic cover that will hold that in place Let's see where i'm putting that at the moment so let me give it one more shot about there that might well be it there we go so that's one side of that done 
Uh, I shall get the other side attached and then figure out how the wires have got to move out the way to get that in place. And then we'll tighten it up. Yep, there we go. That is that on there. Uh, then we just have six more screws to hold that in place. And then waiting for the outer panel to arrive to cover it over. Screw's not going in there quite yet at the moment. I think I might need to make sure it's tightened down fully. Yeah, it seems to go a little bit deeper than that. So I might have a wire trapped underneath there. I don't know. See if we can work down to it. No, I think that's going in tighter that time. Should be okay now. Yep, there we go. And one more. Two more over the other side. One over there. So this is slightly below the level of the outside there, so there's obviously a complete plate that's going to cover over that, which will be quite nice looking. I like a nice complete plate. And that is the final screw. Of today and indeed of this delivery and uh, yeah, the lights still work which was always nice so there we have it uh, an almost complete saucer section once I get that panel on that we good so there we go uh, well two more issues or one and a half issues to go only six more episodes so uh, thanks for watching see you soon stay safe bye bye for now